Hello everyone, TNG here back with episode 8 on the Nebulous server. As you can see, I've actually started using the glass as I said I was going to. Um, this was just a basis to start out with and then the rest of the episode I was just going to fill up the rest of the ravine, tidy up the sides a bit by getting rid of the cobblestone. Obviously I don't want to have the ravine built out of cobblestone. I want some sort of other brick, maybe stone bricks or something, who knows. Maybe just keep the natural fill with stone even, who knows. We could do either or. Um, I want to try and keep the lava tubes nice and exposed like that. I mean, if you fall down here and then you walk into a lava, you're an idiot. So, well, that's me, I suppose. That, that you know, I'm probably going to die to that, knowing my luck. But, um, I mean, if you, if you do fall down into the lava, you can walk out of it and die over here and not lose your stuff because of the glass, thankfully. So, as you can see, I've got a few stacks of glass on me. I have a bunch more back up at the community house in my room thing. But I didn't want to bring it with me in case I did fall in the lava and lose it all because, unfortunately, there's no desert next to spawn, damn it, that I've actually found yet. So, you know, I've had to go around the beaches and um, uh, destroy them to pieces in order to get some sand. And, well, if I lose the sand that I've got now, or rather glass, because I've already um, smelted it, that would be quite painful because it took me a while to get it all. So... I think slow and steady wins the race. Sounds about right, hey? And of course, being a scumbag that I am, I started recording this episode without anything to really talk about because, I don't know, I just felt like it. I just felt like recording. You just get in that mood sometimes, you know? Um, oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what it is, but I can always hear this damn skeleton around this area. It's really bugging me. There might be a skeleton spawner around. I don't know, but it's actually really annoying. So I'm going to have to try and uh, light up some nearby cave systems as well. Um, I think you might even find me in these episodes actually going through and uh, caving a bit more as well. I don't really do that much in uh, my single player recordings. I, I turn, tend to just branch mine and suddenly say, hey, I've got all these materials. Let's do something like build, which, you know, isn't necessarily the best thing to do. So I figure we might as well um, go caving soon. I know where a decent enough cave is, I'm pretty sure is untouched. I know that someone had been down in this ravine at one point, but I don't think they uh, fully explored it because there was a bit of diamond down there that they missed. Uh, mind you, there was no torches down there. Those are mine, every last one of them. But um, there was a few torches up uh, roughly over there, I think. So I don't know who had explored it before, but uh, they missed the zombie spawner as well, so that was lucky me. Uh, get a few music discs and I uh, also get the um, name tags, which I'm actually got an idea for one of them. If you have an idea for a name tag, do leave a comment below and tell me what I should do with them. I do want to actually use them. I don't want to just hoard them in my chest and be like, sweet, I've got a really rare item that I'm never going to use. <laughs> it's kind of a, a, a stupid waste if you ask me. I might as well use them. Uh, for something, so why not? Uh, if you've got a suggestion, let me know. Um, I obviously won't explain what my idea is because I kind of want to do that on the recording. That's going to be a pain. See, I kind of don't want to have cobblestone um, in the cave at all because, to be honest, it, it's kind of a natural structure I'm going for, but at the same time... I want to sort of have a brick to live on. We'll see. Wait, is this actually like a cave that I haven't really explored this? Oh, there you go. I might actually have take a quick look around here. That looks dangerous as all shit. So let's go this way. Um, I've been a little bit here, obviously, to, to light it up a tiny bit. But I haven't been past here, I don't think. No. That's uh, really dangerous. I don't know if I like going that way. We can go up there, though. Let's try that real quick. What's over this way? Probably a creeper around the corner, perhaps? That'd be nice. Huh. A lot of lava around this ravine. There really is. Just try and keep an eye out for any uh, diamond. I'm not seeing anything, sadly. Um, ooh, there's a little bit of another section up here. Let's check that out. Notice how easily I get sidetracked. So, yeah, there's a torch over there that I definitely didn't place. Um, I can hear a slime. Nice. I see a zombie. Not so nice. So I guess someone's already kind of been around here, but at the same time, 
I haven't fully explored it. It could be worth my time, but... Eh. I kind of prefer to have my diamond armor on before I came down here. Looks like I might need to turn this volume down again. How typical with Minecraft, honestly. Okay, now see, now skeletons are coming in, so this is actually kind of dangerous for me. Without a bow, it's dangerous. I mean, if I had a bow, fine. Yes, this is going to be painful. Ugh. Especially when I can't get to the damn thing either. Wait for him to come around and sucker punch the guy. There we go. Gotcha. Um, might as well take a quick exploration because this could be the source of all the noise that I'm coming across. And I kind of want to get rid of it, you know? Okay, zombie down there. Anything up here at all? No. Just more cave systems. So someone's obviously been here before. There's Oh, then again, not necessarily. There's a creeper there. I don't know if he can get to me. Uh, no, you cannot. Hmm, that's lucky. Alright, got rid of you. So look up there. Oh, that looks interesting. Hmm. Let's go take a look at that real quick. Oh, zombies can't get to me, can it? No. Okay. There's some torches up there. So it looks like someone's definitely been here before, but... Oh, damn. No, that no, should be good. A ravine. Okay, this could be dangerous. Let's quickly spam our way up a tiny bit, please. Alright, that should be relatively safe, I think. Um, and then, I guess we could build ourselves... So someone's definitely been here, but they haven't really explored it that well. That's alright by me, I don't care too much. I'll take a quick look around, see if I can't find any diamond. Um... So, another decent looking ravine, but at the same time, eh. It doesn't look anywhere near as good as that lava one, seriously. That was just insane. So, there's another creeper down there. I don't think he can actually reach me. But my little way down is down there. So, I've got to try and keep an eye on that. I'm mostly trying to find another spawner, because I, I really want to get a skeleton spawner pretty bad. Um, I know someone has already found one. I don't know where. That's the problem. So, you know, that's it's something I want to definitely look into uh, getting a farm for. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Yeah, what you doing, buddy? You alright down there? See, if I had a bow right now, I could deal with him so easy. Oh, I actually hit him from here. Well, there you go. Can I get you again, buddy? There you go. Gotcha. Nice. Let's build a bit of a staircase. Actually, let's, um... Light up this corner down here so nothing spawns. And up there as well. Some lava up there too. Nice. And head down this way here and see if there's anything we can do. I like how this turned from uh, a building episode into a uh, bloody, what do you call it, episode? Caving. Caving with low supplies as well. That's the problem. Oh well. Whatever. I'm actually running out of torches, aren't I? I think I might have, like, another stack or so, but that's about all. Extremely concerned about creepers on this, this server because I do get a little bit of lag. So, the chance of them exploding is actually frustratingly high. Ah, oh, there's the zombie. Hey, is this is the place, same place from before, so this just looped back around. That's nice. Okay. I can deal with this. Let's head down there. It's relatively safe down there. Okay, some more torches out, yeah, see I'm running extremely low on torches now, but a little bit more exploration won't hurt too much, I don't think, just keep an eye behind me, um, see, nothing down here, of course, um, I'm mostly looking for diamonds, but I'm not finding anything, it's a bit of a shame, honestly, there's more lava here, ah, diamonds, nice, okay, what we want to do first is secure it from mobs, don't want to get ganked while I'm uh, digging them out. And of course, it would be lava there. So that's also wonderful. What we're going to do is we're going to actually block you up and go in there later. Uh, later, as in in this episode still, but just not yet. And block you up so nothing can come up from behind. And I don't really care about lapis. So we'll just block up this cave entirely. There as well. Okay. 
Now we're nice and secure, apart from the lava. So what we're going to do here is going to just cover the entire thing. All right. We actually just ran out of blocks. We need to actually dig up some. Thankfully, I've still got a few spare pickaxes that I mined up before we mined up. Made before I started the episode. I didn't actually realize I was going to do this in this episode. Pretty crazy. Thankfully, I got some diamonds from it. It's actually quite nice. So, I guess that's the beauty of it, about having a ravine house. It's an interesting concept. It really is. Um, so, obviously, what you want to do, especially with the diamonds that actually are near lava, I just do this in general, honestly, is dig completely and utterly around them. I don't want to lose a single one of these. I, uh, even though I've already got, like, a stack, I, I just don't like losing any at all. I mean, there could be lava behind that one stone block there. And boom. See, I can hear the lava. But that's the lava that's beneath me. But there could be some, you know, to the side here. You watch. Like, if I dig this out, no lava. That's lucky. Um, but you just don't know. That's the problem. Alright, dig this out. And there's actually a pretty huge cluster of diamond. Damn. I'm, I'm lucky. Ah, that's good. It's good. A bit of luck, my Fortune 3 will activate a few times. Um... I've noticed that it's annoying because I've, I've, when I've ever I've gotten diamonds before on uh, my current pick, it seems to dick me over and just not give me uh, that many. So I believe that's all of it except for that. Okay, so yeah, this diamond is 100% safe, and I've got no diamonds on me, so we can see how many we get from this in a second. So that was a uh, five, I believe, which converts into eight. Really. Wow, I got dicked over hard. Holy crap. Three extras, and that's that's all. Unless there was only four there, which might have been the case. I might have miscounted, but I don't think I did, honestly. Um, let's make a bit of a pathway here, shall we? And you know, pretty much just stop myself from falling in that lava when I'm done with this cave here. Because I'm probably going to run away like a little pansy when a uh, creeper comes up behind me. Oh, well, from the front here. Right, so there's actually no enemies in here yet. This is probably just a dead end, honestly. Yeah. Oh. Aww. I thought that was the head of a creeper. Damn it. Don't freak me out like that, you little shithead. Uh, I guess the best one I can do is go back to uh, that new ravine and check that out from there, I reckon. That's probably what I'm going to do now. Um, which was this way. If I'm not mistaken. I've already got a bunch of iron, so uh, if you're wondering why I'm not collecting it, I've got 11 iron blocks. I'm pretty good for now, thanks. I think I'll pass. Um, go up there. I haven't been up there yet. Let's do that. i still got 40 torches left, so I should be pretty good. Uh, let's just lock this up, please. Ugh. Can we climb the, the water spout, please? Thanks. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Um... Okay, this puts me out with a bunch of zombies over that side. Damn. What's with all the zombies over there? Holy crap. Uh, a double ravine. Huh. That's interesting. Bunch of stuff down there. Okay. Nothing really up here. There's zombies up there, so you can have zombies fall on your head, which is not necessarily a good thing. Um... I don't necessarily like having all this exposure, so what we're going to do is actually going to head back the way we came uh, and, and uh, explore a cave system as opposed to a ravine system, especially a double double ravine system. They can be quite dangerous, honestly, in my, opi my opinion. Um, there seems to be a cave down here, actually, so we'll go down here instead. Yes, there is in fact a shitty little cavern system. Nice. Wonderful. Uh, that is a dead end, correct? No, it actually might not be. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, it's a dead end. That's annoying. Oh well. Well, we're going to end this episode off here, everyone, and uh, continue caving in the next one, I suppose. So until next time, this has been TNG with episode 8 on the Nebula server. Hope you enjoyed watching, and have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and post a comment below to tell me how I can improve. And feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Because yes, I recorded two episodes in a row. I mean, I was stuck in a cave system. I wasn't going to stop recording. Uh <laughs>